So today we're looking at the Resource Manager Dashboard Pack. What we have here is visibility into all of the resources relative to the project work at an executive level. So these are the questions that we expect executives might ask. At the top, we have the ability to filter this down so you can pick it by you know what resource manager, if you have an OBS structure you wanna go, if you wanna look at this for a specific resource, uh, you have the ability to filter that. And then you can drill down into the details as it makes sense to, to get more information on the different uh, questions that are being asked. If we looked at the staffing by ETC, you see the filters still come across for us. Uh, we look at the estimate to complete perspective. You see the different charts. You can drill in and get more information from the roles to the people. You can change the views. In this case, we're looking by investment priority. We can change it by investment goal or charge code, uh, however you wanna see the information. And then as you look at this, you can filter in by picking and you'll see the graphics and summaries change based on filtering into, in this case, all the ones that are blank. Um, so a lot of flexibility to answer the questions you need uh, right here from within the dashboard itself. Shifting gears, similar view, but now we're focused on allocations. So if you're an organization that doesn't do both ETC and allocations, then when you install this, you could uh, you know, take one of those options out so you're only seeing the information that's relevant to you. Uh, but similar views is what we just showed you a second ago. The past allocation discrepancy is really focusing on, you know, are we allocating people to work and they're not actually working on that. And so we get visibility into what's going on, helping us to determine hey, that project shouldn't have got done on time because we had something interrupted, but giving you the answers to why uh, did that happen. Looking at timesheets across the scenario for those resources, so giving you visibility into the timesheets and the work that they've done. Focusing on the resources and the hours When we look at the resources, how did they impact our capital versus OPEX expenditures on a period by period basis? So, you know, calculating, you know, what kind of time was entered for those resources and how was it impacted? Then a, a resource detail view. So giving you access to you know, where our resources are from a timesheet perspective, where they're working. A little visibility into our resources and their skill sets. And then lastly, uh, you know, giving that resource view based on the investments, tasks, and actuals. Similar scenario of being able to switch the charts and views. So hopefully that was helpful, giving you some insight into our resource management dashboard.